I currently have an EQ5 Pro mount, uh, which you see here. This is Skyroach's website, and it's been pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not particularly good at guiding. It's a little bit bumpy, and my stars are not really tight. Uh, they're kind of a funny oblong shape sometimes. Uh, sometimes it performs brilliantly, other times it's a bit temperamental. So I thought I'd have a look and see what other mounts are around on the market. And so I've gone to Skywatcher's website. Here's the EQ5. Now the obvious sort of jump up from an EQ5 is an EQ6 and there are quite a few that Skywatch has got. There's the EQ6 Pro which is this one which I think is often called the NEQ6 as well um, which has obviously got a higher loading capacity but it's still got these funny um, latitude bolts which tend to bend if you don't undo this one these tend to bend so then there's the EQ6 R Pro on top of this which is this one and you can all already see that that bolt looks potentially a lot stronger with this particular mount um, but then there's an alt azimuth version of this as well which doesn't have the same method of adjusting the height um, because this one can be used in alt as as well as in EQ mode um, it's got a different way of adjusting the latitude and this latitude bolt looks much better much more robust on there as well um, and then I stumbled across something which I've not seen before now this was a picture that came out back in 2019 and it was of a new mount which Skywatch were going to release and it's called the CQ350 Pro and I think this was to fit the gap between the EQ6R Pro and the EQ8 mount. Now nobody else has heard anything about this and this is the only information that I've been able to find um, from Skywatcher which was in a magazine that they uh, put out for new products. And If I go quickly onto Stargazer's Lounge I managed to find these additional pictures and I have to say it does look a lot like the EQ8 uh, from Skywatcher but it's um, a really nice looking mount and nobody's heard anything else. I kind of stumbled across these pictures. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a really interesting mount. Now of course COVID's kind of stopped production with a lot of these uh, new mounts. So I'm hoping that this might come out in the near future. And it does look very exciting. A very good mount. And apparently it's um, what's called an English yoke design which I've not heard of before. And also, it's got a loading capacity of up to 35 kilos, which is huge. It's really big. Um, some people have compared it to the old Ioptron CEM60, but I was going to put both of these images up and compare them. They don't look identical, it has to be said. So I think, because the Ioptron's got a different front, um, this CEM60 is no longer available, it's a discontinued product. Um, but this one from Skywatcher looks very interesting indeed, and I think it's going to be one to look out for in the future. So the options for upgrading would be the AZ EQ6 Pro, this one here, or the EQ6 R Pro, but I'm still not keen on the way the latitude bolt works because they do bend inside, or maybe saving up and waiting for this new mount from Skywatcher, the CQ350 Pro, which looks very cool. So watch this space. 